Prayer is essentially reaching out, seeking a connection with someone or something beyond you. And depending on where you are in your spiritual life, that direction will have a clearer destination. But it's my belief and really a fundamental understanding of the book that everyone prays. And we may not direct our prayers or even call them prayers to someone, but we are expressing these same longings, these same yearnings, the same anger, the same lament about our experience as human beings. And God hears those, whether they are intended to be directed towards him or not. So God hears our movies. When our movies express these things, he's listening to them. And it's fascinating to me to try to listen along. When I started doing that, I just found these things bubbling up all over the place. And that's across genre as well. So something like Toy Story can be a prayer of confession. There's also something like the Fred Astaire and Ginger Rogers pictures, which were beautiful examples of prayer as joy. So joyful prayers, just breaking down some of their dance sequences in that way, which also gave me a chance to talk about things like the costuming and all these little elements of cinema that came together to create what a movie like Top Hat to me is, is a prayer of joy. So you move from that to something as sinister as Hitchcock. And those also, I saw a handful of his films operating as prayers of confession. And then I would jump from there to something like The Life Aquatic with Steve Zissou, a Wes Anderson film that very much to me speaks as a prayer of yearning. The main character there is seeking something that he can't quite define. It's that reaching out for the divine, essentially. And we certainly see that in science fiction films as well. So that same chapter goes from The Life Aquatic with Steve Zissou to something like Close Encounters of the Third Kind movies can be these communications, perhaps separate from the intent of the particular filmmakers, but because they're such collaborative artistic enterprises, you get this coalition of human experience in a movie where these things are gathered together and express something that God is listening to, whether it's a movie full of lament like Chinatown or whether it's a movie full of joy like a Muppets movie. All of these things really capture the whole full range of the human experience and our attempts to tell God what we think of it.